Hello guys, it has been a somewhat very rough night, not because of Paul and I, but um, last night after Paul went to bed and I had a game of Counter-Strike, I wanted to take Sally out for a wee and uh, I kept calling her and she didn't come and I looked in at her and she's right here, hello baby, um, we don't know what's wrong but she can't support herself on the back legs, um, it's like she's gone all all jiggly. She's happy enough. She does play and la like her wacker tail and stuff. Right? What's this? What's this? But when I had to take her out for a wee last night, I had to put this um, towel under her tummy and support her walking. Um, it's just like her legs giving after. Um, we know it shouldn't be hip dysplasia because she's very flexible in her legs. Um, we spoke with the vet about that. The vet also says that it should not be arthritis because she's only four years and three months old. So when um, we head into the vet now in about an hour, we have an appointment there and taking her in and see what's wrong with her. Yes. She hasn't been drinking while she's been here. I slept on the floor here last night next to her just to make sure that she was okay. Um... Yes, hello, baby. What's the matter? But she can move her legs and stuff, but it's like, I don't know, to me I would believe it's almost like a trapped nerve or something. Um, we wanted to have an x-ray with her, but the vet said, come around, let's check before we do the x-ray, because it's quite expensive to get the x-rays. And if it's something that she can tell what it is without having the x-ray, it's, it's okay, but I don't care if you have to get the x-ray and stuff like that. Um... But it just hurts us so much because Sally is so much to us. Um, for people out there who hasn't got a dog, imagine that it's your own child. That's how much Sally means to us. She is our baby. And she adds so much to our lives. So we want to make sure that she has the best life possible. And um, now we're going to the vet and hopefully they'll tell us that there's nothing serious who doesn't need operations and stuff. But in case it needs that, we'll just have to deal with it and get it done. Um, how are we going to find the money? I don't know. And a lot of people probably wondering, well, isn't she insured? Unfortunately not. Um, we were about to actually do it in this week here um, because it's been quite a struggle to find an insurance company. Um, but we found one now. But unfortunately, we haven't. We got this incident now with her just before we go in and sign her up. Which is so bloody damn tiring. So, um, She's been there all night. Um, we turned her over now and then so she didn't get sore from sleeping in the same um, uh, position. And she's not breathing heavily with the vet that she said is also a good sign because that means she's not in a lot of pain or in pain. But it hurts us so much because she's our everything. And um, yeah, that's not just what I expected. So um, we're going there in about an hour as I mentioned and then we'll see what the vet says maybe they'll keep her overnight we don't know um, and I don't really care I just want her to be well again the tail can still go yes the tail can still go <laughs> so the... oh, I want her to be so good so quickly yes the tail can still go a little, a little gem, a little angel. Mm. It hurts, guys. It really hurts. So we're heading down to the vet now. We just had a positive sign, I would say that is. Um, I carried Sally down the stairs and we took her outside and I wanted her to go for a wee. And she had a little bit of problem standing up to start with. Um, but then she saw a stick and she wanted to start playing, she started walking around and she actually walked to the car herself. Which is a hell of a good sign, that means that she has feeling and sensation in her rear legs. Um, but anyways, we are going to the vet now to say check up, find out what it is because Sally is a young dog and she's normally so full of energy and always jumping around and happy and never have any problems. So we want to go and check that up and if they say well that's maybe just a temporary like 
paralysis, maybe she's been tired from a long walk and stuff like that. If that's the case, then say there's nothing wrong with her, it's just been something that she's been exhausted or whatever, or maybe stretched some muscle or something. If that's the case, we'll fly and straight home and get the insurance set up on her because if she would if she needs operation and stuff, it's cost a fortune guys. And we have been saying for a long time we wanted to get the insurance done, but the problem with these companies here, the policies are so stupid and hard to figure out because then some of them won't cover some things and some of them won't cover something else. We want a full cover one. Um, we have been looking for it, but we, no matter what now, when we come back from the vet, hopefully, um, I don't know if they're gonna keep Sally. We brought some of her favorite toys, so she has them in the, up there in case they does decide to keep her. Um, but if she's coming home with us, that will it will make me feel better because that means the vet would say that she's good enough to come home. But um, we'll still have to keep a good close eye on her. I'll sleep next to her again tonight. Um, and here and I. So yeah, but we're there in like two minutes. Thankfully the vet is very close to where we live, so that's not really a problem. Hi guys! Um, came out from the vet. It's hopefully good news all the way through. Um, the nice uh, vet there, she like looks through Sally and her temperature is fine. She looks very healthy and alert and that's everything is good. She touched around her legs and it seems to be the right leg around the foot. So she's got some pain uh, medication now. She had like an injection and then we got something we have to give her during the week. Just like spray it into her mouth and that'll work as pain medicine. And um, but she said nothing is broken and nothing seems sprained or anything. She might have just had a little twist or something. So that's a hell of a relief. But it was just the reaction Sally had last night that she just suddenly seemed so drowsy and didn't want to do anything. And I mean, we were really worried, but it's calmed our minds now that we know that there's nothing serious, which is also a nice thing for us to know that this is nothing who needs operation. That means any complications of us getting an insurance for her, which we'll go home and look at right now. Um, but we're just going to see my mom and dad. My dad came home from hospital today. He's been there for like a week. Um, you guys know that not long ago he was up there. Nearly, we nearly lost him there. And he's got a lot of respiratory problems. He like losing his breath a lot and stuff like that. But we're going to go see him now because I haven't seen him for a while. And I'm gonna top up the pellet burner with uh, pellets so um, they don't run out. But good news so far with Sally, that really got Paul and I scared. Um, I woke Paul up at 3 o'clock at night just to tell him like there's something wrong with Sally. Um, and I slept on the floor with her all night to make sure that she was okay and had normal breathing. But it seemed like she just had a little... Ooh! What is that person doing? I don't know. Chatting on the phone, I suppose. Oh, crazy. Trying to take over and she's like leaning over towards us. That's a silly woman. <laughs> But anyways, we feel a lot more relief now with Sally. Um, as I said, we're going home to mum and dad now. And Sally is not allowed to go for long walks. She likes to go for like five minute walks and we have to keep her active because we can't just lock her in one place. But man, that was a scare. Um, because as I said so many times, you guys seen in the video, she is so close to us. She's everything. Um, she's our baby, she's a child. And we do anything we can to protect her. So um, yeah. So far it seems like we just had a scare, but we're okay.